All right, this is grade three, module two, lesson one, where we are going to be talking about time. All right, so now as teachers, the most important thing that we want you to do uh, with your students is give students the opportunity to, do, to experience time and measurement. Uh, let them sit for five seconds. Let them sit for 10 seconds. Let them sit for um, a minute in silence, and they can experience how time feels. And, um, and then they can discuss things like uh, whether we would measure certain events in seconds or in minutes or, heck, even in days. Uh, so for this this lesson or this screen right here is kind of an example of the things that we would want students to kind of begin the the process of experiencing. They would do it at home. They, oh, let's see, find some things that take thirty seconds, find some things that might take forty five seconds to do, and then find some things that take sixty seconds. And we could talk about it in class. We could even practice some of these things in class. Does tying shoes really take 30 seconds? Or for some people, maybe it takes uh, them far less time and we would have to do something else like, oh, count the ABCs or something. Now here, we're gonna get into some serious teaching, how to read analog clocks. And this is always a tricky one for our kids. Uh, let's start with this top analog clock, and let's see if I could zoom in. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. And this analog clock, we can see that the hour hand is between the 10 and 11. So we know that the time is going to be like 10 o'clock plus some extra minutes because we haven't quite reached the 11 yet. So we know it's going to be 10 o'clock. And now let's figure out exactly how many minutes. So we start here at the 12, and we count over, we do our skip counting. We do 5. 10, 15, so we know that the time is 10, 15. And if we're going to keep going, let's, let's do this next one. And we won't match the analog, uh, the digital clock yet. Let's just measure our time. And now here, we can see that the hour hand hasn't quite reached the 3. So that tells us that we know it's 2 o'clock plus some extra minutes. So we have a couple of ways we can do this. One way is we can just start at the 12 and count forwards, and we're going to skip count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So we know the time is 2 plus 50 minutes, the 2 hours plus 50 minutes, so 250. Another way we could have done it is we could have pretended we started at 3 o'clock, perfectly at 3, and then go back 5, 10 minutes. So we could have started at 3 o'clock and then take away 10 minutes, and that would have been 250. So for students who can think that way, go for it. For other students who want to do this red method of starting at 2 and then counting forward, they can do that as well. Oh, now this one's a nice one. It's straight on the hour. So that means we know that the time is exactly 11 o'clock with no extra minutes. Now we do happen to see, not that this matters, but we see the second hand ticking away. So we can see that there's 5, 10, Plus, I can't quite see, maybe one or two extra seconds. So if we wanted to, we could talk about the, the, the fact that there's this extra 12 seconds going on. But right now, we're just worried about the, the hours and the minutes. So this is 11 o'clock. And the last one, we can see the hour hand is a little bit past the 7 o'clock. So we know that it's 7 o'clock plus some extra minutes. And let's count those extra minutes, and our extra minutes is one set of five, so that's five minutes. So we're not going to just put like a seven five like that. That would be silly. Um, so what we're going to do, the way we write a five is we use the number zero. So it's going to be seven oh five. So that means seven o'clock plus five extra minutes. So now we can zoom out, and we can connect our analog clocks with our digital clocks. Woohoo! Let's do that. 
And so we've got, well, here's 1015, and there's 1015. Here's 2.50, and here's 2.50. Here's 11 o'clock, there's 11 o'clock, and here's 7.05, and there is 7.05. And that is your Grade 3, Module 2, Lesson 1.